What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and we are going to be doing the Lancer class breakdown video guide tutorial, whatever you guys want to call it, and this is gonna be after the patch. This is a lot of people have been asking for this in game, outside of game, on my channel. I went to the store a little bit earlier and I just got stopped by some guy and he's like, Man, when are you gonna put out that Lancer tutorial? So I just uh I just need to do that now. So let's go ahead and get uh into it as we are going to be helping out a lot of people with this class tutorial apparently um, so here we go uh, we're gonna go start with the Lancer tree um, as far as the Lancer tree goes um, it's not gonna be like the Archer tree you definitely want to get to the attack boost uh, level 4 um, just for the archers in general you didn't want to do that but Lancers I would suggest going straight into this um, the way you go around is up to you. I would even get everything just because you're getting this right here, uh, the lance and scythe gear. You're going to be able to kill off more mages this way. This one gives you a critical hit damage boost, and this one's a defense of helm gear. So depending on if you're um, like lacking on defense and stuff like that, you uh, you want to go a specific way. So like this is more attack, and this is more uh, the defensive way. So um, in like. If you're like between the two and you have to pick one side to go to, I would honestly just go sort towards the uh, defensive side because in general, um, just for me, uh, in this guide, I'm suggesting Lancers don't go full DPS. Uh, if you want to go full DPS, you might as well just be an Archer because Lancers, for one, they're only damaging physical damage, correct? And physical damage is the most damage that uh, people will have uh, in general. People have more defense than magic defense, correct? Um, so I would say go towards the defensive side if you already have a lot of defenses then you can go towards this side in, uh, instead um, how, uh, or if you're running um, a specific type of build then you can go towards this side as well but I would suggest getting this attack boost level 4 now that being said uh, I want to go over the skills that a Lancer should actually have in order to be successful in a GVG um, situation for me personally, I would suggest uh, these skills are very important right here. Sting, very important skill. Savage Sting, again, uh, like my old uh, guide. And instead of actually taking uh, the Dragon Thrust, this time you want to go with Knight's Blitz. The reason being, the actual patch that came out uh, and the notices, it actually tells us that um, the Knight's Blitz has been... Uh, has been boosted so let me just double check um, da -da -da -da. it looks like it would be boom super scale update and then looks like right here so Lancer class abilities Night Blitz base power 190 to 210 that is gonna be incredibly incredibly useful so just having that in general is going to be very good um, and making making it just that much more powerful um, now you could also go into um, the the thrust the dragon thrust because it actually does the paralyze um, effect so going back into the classes going into the lancer into the dragoon here um, you could actually go into this dragon thrust if you have um, the spears for it but if you have a bunch of knights blitz spears or, or scythe I think the scythe is the one that's most common that people have um, and then a bunch of stings that will be great um, also um, going into this uh, this knights uh, this knights blitz build which is very very important actually uh, in this build is having like an ether exchange um, and the combo would be using your ether exchange off the bat then using your Knight's Blitz. Don't even use your Stings at first. So uh, two Lancers get this um, setup, which would be the two sa two Stings, Knight's Blitz, and the EE, which is Ether Exchange. Then they both Ether Exchange and then attack one target with the Knight's Blitz. Or you can actually go um, take out this Sting and just leave Savage Sting. So you'll have Savage Sting, Knight's Blitz, Ether Exchange, and um, cheer and then that could actually be uh, switched out as well so I'm put it I'll put it up in the annotations below that it'll, or around here I don't know where they're gonna be but they're gonna be around here somewhere but um, 
the for sure guaranteed skills you're gonna have are the Savage Sting and uh, Knight's Blitz. So Savage Sting, Knight's Blitz, and then uh, you can even switch Knight's Blitz for this, and I'll put a, a, a bunch of skills there. But that's the basic strat that I would go for, um, and uh, I'll put the skills up again. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to you guys about what kind of class um, skills you should be getting, okay guys? So as a lancer, you do not need anything in this mage tree, correct? Because you're not going to get any, you don't need any of this uh, magic attack. So you don't need any of that besides going up into here to get the ether exchange. You don't need anything inside this, this mage tree. So let's just forget about the mage tree besides getting to ether exchange, which isn't going to cost too much. Uh, and you probably already have just because you've tested it before. The first thing you guys want to do is figure out where your armor situation is. If you have um, like a defense gap between your your magic defense and defense, say if you have a lot of magic defense and you need more defense, you want to go back into the soldier tree and grab all of these defense boosts, correct? It's because it's going to boost your, your base defense. Um, if you are lacking in the magic de defense department you want to go ahead and go into the archer these two classes are going to be the paramount um skills for your your lancer you want to either between going to soldier and to archer for your defenses uh, and this is again going to depend on what your uh armor situation is like in my situation well this is my aoe uh augment build but basically i have a equal amount of defense and magic defense so it wouldn't really matter which one i go into first depending on um which which defenses I'm, I'm trying to boost you know obviously um i also have this here which is massively reduces magic damage taken so i probably would go more into defense if this was um my focus right uh, and I'm just looking at defenses. I'm not looking at like if I'm a mage or not or whatever. Just looking at if this is the same defenses as, as your lancer. Now, what I'm actually going to recommend um, for the uh, lancer now is going to be into the gears. And we just covered. We, we, I'm just going to go like, over it real quick again. Going as a soldier, plusing to the defense, and then going into archer, plusing into the magic defense. Correct. Uh, I wouldn't suggest going into cleric or into the mage yet, only just to get the ether exchange again. So let's go ahead and talk quickly, um, or I guess it wouldn't be really quickly, but let's go ahead and talk about the defenses and gears and stuff like that for the Lancer. First things first, I would suggest Lancer, again, having six lances is always very important as a class that is going to be a damage class. Um, and I'm saying damage class because um, Lancer is a damage class, he doesn't really heal, he does have utility though, so he's a utility damager, right? He's not just somebody that is going to go all out damage, but just something like an archer or a mage. Mage and archer, they can they uh, can go utility, however their damage is so much better than their utility that uh, they are better off that way. Lancer in this sense is actually not the same as them. Lancer is more of a utility, tanky DPS, okay? Uh, and that's how it should be played. A lot of people like to go massive attack on Lancers, which I do not recommend. I don't think that's a very good strategy as an end game goal for a Lancer. However, I do recommend having six Lances. And this six Lances should either be Physical Testament, a Sting Lance, or a Knight's Blitz Lance. Uh, just because of the meta right now, the Knight's Blitz got boosted by that, um, I think it was like 20 AP. Uh, and it's also just... Um, it's just that much more powerful that way uh, so it's just going to be boosted really high and then um, right now since they have six slots it's going to be able to proc more as well as uh, having all those slots and um, all that cost is going to make them more tanky right so that's the meta for me right now if you guys don't have any uh, night splits lances again you can switch it out with other lances but that's the that's the way I would see it. If you wanted to go to, for like a hundred percent guaranteed perfect, um, you probably want to go with like all XXL physical lances or all uh, XL physical lances because the meta might change later. Or you might want to try something different. But if you have all physical testament, then it's not really gonna affect you. I don't see that happening for a lot of lancers. So if you have like a mix of physical testament, sting and night splits then that will be perfect too all right so let's go ahead and get into uh something like uh, armors and helmets okay guys now for this meta of uh game 
uh, we need to think about Lancers being more of a utility damage than just being straight up damage. If you want to go straight damage again, you go Archer because you have both physical attack and magic attack. You can go through other defenses. But if somebody has just pure physical defense, a lot of the time he's not going to be able to uh, do as much damage as an Archer. Okay, and they're also um, he just doesn't. He's just not going to achieve as much damage as an Archer ever. The Lancer will never do that. He will achieve. He will achieve burst damage better. Uh, well, hmm, he, I don't even know, but he, he attacks faster, his attack animation is faster, but the actual burst damage when the lethal comes out is actually better, so it's a throw up. Uh, you also want to, to uh, realize that the Lancer being more tanky is actually better for him because he can dole out a good amount of D DPS to kill somebody and break a target. Again, the most important thing on a Lancer is the break, correct? That's, what's, that's what they're used for. The Lancer class innately has a high chance, higher chance to break than any other class, correct? And um, how breaks work is certain skills have high, higher um, break points, like you, you will get more break points for using a Sting or a Savage Sting or, or even a uh, Double Sting than any other skill that you can use, and uh, Double Sting being the highest, right? Um, also, I, I don't recommend getting double sting because it's just the cost. Uh, the cost is too much. If you if it was anything else uh, lower cost, then that's fine. But it's the cost is just way too much to be able to uh, to use the double sting. Correct. Um, so that's the reason uh, you wouldn't want to use double sting. Um, and also, it's the reason why you would want to use savage sting and the regular sting. Um, using the knight. I mean the knight, the lancer in this sense is quite possibly like the thing that is changing the game right now. If you use a, a lancer in this way, it's going to make your guild and your GVG battles much easier and it'll be easier for the healer to heal you as well. Um, also I didn't talk about uh, using your actual skill guard uh, as a lancer instead of cheer, you can also do that too. Um, if you don't have a lot of defenses, but um, back to this, I would say for your helmet and your armor, you want to have four of these helmets and four armors, either that, either that or seven. So se a total of seven or a total of eight between the two. So you can have uh, six armors here and two helmets here, or you know, basically anything that's going to add up to eight. Four and four, blah blah blah. You know, six and two and all, all that all that good stuff uh, obviously you can't have eight and zero because you you have points that are going to come in uh passively throughout the game correct and you want to use those points so that is pretty much what i want to uh, talk about in terms of armors um especially thinking about constant damage down okay so anything that has this you want one of these magic armor ups and you want a physical armor up XL. Um, you don't want to put any armors in that are, aren't UR, honestly. Uh, if they're SSR, that's I guess okay, but you want to have at least, you want to have 4 and 4, uh, or 8 total UR armors to pull this off. Um, you can do it with 6 and you can do it with 7, but I wouldn't say, I mean 5, you would probably just want to go more damage in, in that sense, because you're not going to have enough mitigation at that point. To, to go. Um, if you do have five and then you say if you have an SSR in the other two slots or other one slot, you can take guard and then you'll be able to withstand like maybe two archer volleys as long as your guard is timed correctly. So this is the way that I think the Lancer is going to come back in a big way in, uh, in the terms of being able to utilize your class well. This is what the game is coming to uh, and has been like since the beginning. It's just people haven't really realized the Lancer class isn't a full-on DPS class. It needs to be put into a uh, DPS tank role, like a tanky DPS role, or a bruiser role if you ever played played uh, um, LOL before, or um, League of Legends. It's like a it's like a Jarvan, right? Like he, he comes in, he attacks. And you can you can kill him, but he's not easily killed. As well, his his damage is good enough to kill someone else. Correct. So that's the way I would build 
a Lancer just because I think that's the best way. I also um, have voiced my opinion to my uh, guildmates and Bard I think came to this conclusion by himself. He actually has a good amount of defense defenses and still has a good amount of attack, okay? You guys see that attack is not bad. It's four it's already forty eight K six six six, right? It's evil, right? But <laughs> it's pretty evil, dude. He has he has a crazy attack. Um, he has good defense and good magic defense. I wouldn't want to be attacking this target first. Uh, however, if he does attack your guys first, he might kill you. So you just gotta be you just gotta be the first to attack. EE is gonna help you do that, uh, as well as having that sting and savage sting. So um, a very good front line attacker, and you will have. Um, you will have your unison with that character and he will be useful in a uh, crystal downing phase as well as being a frontliner again with the guard he he has like a little bit of less of a utility in crystal downing phase however he's very very useful in in, um, in uh, the front line if you have guard so that being said let's get back into the gears so as far as the armors go, that's going to be my, I'm going to say, I've said my piece on armors. So let's go ahead and talk now about our monsters. For the Lancer, having eight, six to eight, um, or seven, yeah, six to eight, I guess you would say, armors, you will only have uh, three to five mo uh, UR monsters, depending on how what kind of armors you have. So what you would want to go for is multi-purpose elements multi multiple em elements so you would want to go for a green monster which is like an alice would be the best you can do a blue monster which is would be the abseris the best you can do and a red monster the best red monster out right now is either the bird which gives you ward the fire valkyrie which gives you buffs or the behemoth which is high damage so those monsters in general are the best uh, for the Lancer in this build. The Lancer himself uh, being selfish and not thinking about unisons will be uh, basically the best monsters for him are going to be red monsters, blue monsters, and the neutral monsters. Uh, neutral monsters being the magic defense, fire monsters being the regular defense, and blue monsters being both defenses, correct? And red is also attack and neutral is also attack, right? They don't have any magic attack here. Why do we go multi-purpose elements? Because we have to think about unisons, correct? Every time you're in a unison battle, you have to know that, oh, if he puts up this, which is fire, I put up this, which is water, correct? So you have to have those type of things in your wheelhouse to be able to counter, correct? I just, I just uh, need to stress this into your guys' minds that winning the unison battle is pretty much what's going to win you the, the game. The only reason that you wouldn't win a game when you're winning the unison battle every time is if you're losing every single time you're in besides unison. So if, if you're in on the um, first round and you just get decimated, you no, know, you don't kill anybody, um, you could even still win the match if you're able to one-shot the crystal, right? Which will change once the crystal is going to be able to up in uh, defenses, which uh, A teams say they're going to do, uh, and HP. So if you're losing the unison battle, that's what's going to make you lose the match um, in this meta uh, most of the time. Uh, the only time that's happening is if you if not happening if you mess up or if you get totally like decimated and you just can't kill one a person ever, right? So. That's why we're going multi-purpose elements, guys. I hope that helped you guys out uh, in, in into uh, understanding why we're going multi-purpose elements, and understanding why we're going to uh, tanky lancer, and understanding why we have to have seven lances. Correct? I've been saying correct a lot. I know. All right. So correct. All right. Let's go uh, and <laughs> look at. I think. I think that's it, actually. I think we are pretty good to go on that. Um, so I would say, yeah, go to a soldier or archer, depending on what um, defenses you need. And then cleric is the last thing you want to do just because you don't want to be debuffed the whole time, right? Debuff resistance last. Um, 
But yeah, I think that is good to go. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys out, man. If you if you guys know anything that I missed and figure out something that I haven't figured out, then definitely tell me in the comments below, uh, and I'll get to that. Also, tell me in the comments below if you want a specific thing done next. Um, you know, mage or cleric or paladin uh, done next, and then I'll do that next. So yeah, um, if you guys could like the video or um, subscribe to the channel, and I'll come out with more videos very soon. Dislike it if it didn't help you out at all, or if you didn't like the video. Um, also, uh, if you want to donate, hit the donate in the uh, the uh, description below, and uh, I will be coming out with those wristbands ASAP. Um, I think that's good. As always, thank you guys for watching, and take it easy. Peace.